the overall perspective from the beginning in our involvement with the Department of Architecture here at Temple, everyone felt that student involvement was going to be key to the project. We felt it was a lot better to discuss what the panels would do, discuss where we would think about putting them and have the student input on the whole design process and then carry that to the nth degree and have the students participate in the actual installation of the product. The sound waves that are most offensive in these particular instances are the ones that are striking a vertical surface and bouncing in a horizontal fashion like a, a, some type of a racquetball game. I think the solution that I thought initially would work in this space was hanging some kind of acoustic ceiling clouds and that was the avenue we pursued initially. Normally the place that you would first look is the ceiling but in this particular instance the presence of the sprinkler system dictated that that was not an option. The homoso type panels told us that we had to provide them with a surface that was indeed tackable so that they would be able to continue doing the things that they had been doing in the past. Our primary resource is placing fiberglass wall panels on the surface. We tended to move towards that. It was something that was well within the capabilities of the students to install and uh, it would also physically address the acoustic problems that were present in the environment. The day that we came to do the installation, there was a full class here. We had set up the panels in three different areas. That way we could split them up into smaller teams and everyone could get uh, some degree of a hands-on experience in installing the panels. I met with the class about six months ago to teach them a class on acoustics and they addressed, they knew there was a problem in their classroom but they didn't understand reverberation time, NRC, so to go from the initial kind of overview to then actually bring in the products to fix their problem, I think uh, they got to be involved in the entire process. I think it's pretty cool, I think uh, helping out this room to be able to actually hear my professors speak and everything like that, it's a pretty cool experience seeing how just putting up panels like on these walls right here can actually affect the room and the sound quality. Class was kind of hard with studio because you could hear them um, talking while we'd be sitting in class and like trying to listen. So I think these panels are going to do like a great job in like helping students focus in the room. The students are really getting into using their hands and getting to know the material and what its benefits are. Anyone could have walked in here the day before and missed the actual installation and come in here two days hence and they would have said, my goodness, what have you done acoustically inside this space because things are much different than they were a couple of days ago. The students really enjoyed being a part of the installation. You could markedly feel and hear the difference in the room. Just being able to speak without the ringing in, in my ears in particular, not having to ask somebody to repeat what they were saying, it just has a whole calming uh, effect to the entire environment.